many areas, this particular area, there's so much to see and do, you could spend a week here and not see it all. Uh, but unfortunately for us, the north calls and there's so much more to see, for sure. Wait for the wind, wait for the night. Stand here a while, take a little time. Since you went away, you came to a halt. Silence is everywhere, and you're not. So, another not so bad location. And again, found this by looking at a landmark, which was the castle, which is just to the side here, and then seeing these park up areas. So, uh, yeah, Google Maps is your friend, folks. Google Maps is your friend. Now, we've had a little bit of a, a small, like, croissant e cheese and ham pasty thing, but I am very hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take it you are as well yep. yeah so we will stop here definitely um for dinner and if not overnight as we make our way north and slightly east otherwise we'll just end up going all the way up to the um north coast of spain which is out of our way on this adventure but there will be another one at some point that's for sure so uh uncle john don't worry about it we'll be with you soon but just not on this one uh, apologies if there's a bit of wind noise um, there is a slight breeze here so we've I don't know how far we've traveled about an hour or so up the road and uh, stopped at this lovely it's a reservoir behind me but with this castle um, right next to it so got quite a peaceful park up I've left Tony he's um, doing his Gordon Ramsay and cooking up a fabulous dinner for me and uh, we've got what have we got garlic chicken tonight There's a couple of cars parked up one just next to me here and one just for or a few couple up by the castle because you can actually go and walk around and view it looks quite interesting um, I don't think we'll be paying to go in it's a bit late now but I'll certainly be having a wander around and uh, getting the camera out seeing what that's all about so what a beautiful spot you can get right down to the water's edge although obviously as per most reservoirs it says don't go in the water they can be quite dangerous but yeah good spot Tony so he found this as I think he's already said or he may say later on Google Maps he just found the castle and then had a look next to it to see if there was anywhere suitable for parking and uh, I think we'll probably spend the rest of the night here. It's a bit chilly, or well, it is now. It's had a lovely warm day today, really lovely. But uh, that breeze has got up just here and it's woo, got a chill to it. Let's go back. Let's go back and uh, see how he's getting on with dinner. It's all right, folks, isn't it? I'm meant to be doing the videography. So on tonight's menu, if you look at this folks, if you look at what we've actually got to eat today, you'd think we're uh, definitely them type of Instagram-y, eat healthy people, but we're not. So we've got mushrooms, potatoes, courgette, because courgette lasts forever and is great van food, um, pepper,
and chicken. And it's all going into one pan. And the bit why it's not Instagrammy, it's because it all goes into a big lump of oil <laughs> and gets fried up into a big stir fry. So uh, that's tonight's dinner. And we're doing it not, not as late as we'd normally eat, doing it relatively um, early because it's a beautiful view and very, rather romantic. Aww. Sadly, the Spanish haven't quite cottoned on yet to uh, borsin, otherwise this would have been smothered in borsin. Mm. But instead, it's a uh, garlic chicken anyway, and uh, we've got a lovely sweet and sour sauce that goes with it, called mm. chili and pina, so chili and pineapple, and it is really nice from Spain. Oh, here's garlic king. It's rather nice. <clears throat> love it what a location as well i think we'll be able to do some photography later so uh hopefully we'll get on the other side of the of the um castle we'll see so normally when we're in a spot like this when we've arrived quite early we like to check out the place um because there's a castle up here which we might be able to take a picture of it's a bit hazy but um we know there's plenty of park ups here so we're not paranoid about losing the space. So we're going to take a little drive back up to the castle. It's only a stone's throw away, but that way we can keep an eye on the van while we're out and about doing a bit of photography. So we're going to just take a little drive back up the dirt track to the castle and have a look around. Should we go and take a quick look? Yes, let's. Why do we need to do a little bit of exercise? Because we just had that meal. I've blown up like a balloon. <laughs> Oh, uh, time to let some gas out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It looks like it's a. Uh, oh wow! Goes over the goes over the uh, reservoir to the other side. It looks like you could actually go into this one and visit it. We'll have to we'll have to see uh, price wise, but it looks blooming nice. And there's tracks, I can see tracks all the way around here. So there's people obviously come down from different views. And uh, one of the actual dam. Shame about the car in the picture. So what I do like about Spain so far is that everywhere with parks has been free. And it obviously pulls tourists to the attractions and they make the money that way. So uh, yeah, good old Spain. No pay and display car parks. Well done. I'm sure the uh, cities have got them, but uh, we've not come across one yet. As photographers, we're always looking for points of interest. Mountains, religious buildings and castles all have the potential to be excellent subjects. They are also the places, in our opinion, where you can learn the most about the country's history. Bearing this in mind, we found ourselves at Castillo Panarroya, a good example of military architecture from the 12th century. The castle takes advantage of its natural defence, the cliff to the south and west, whilst to the north and east, a double curtain wall was added. The castle began life as a Muslim fortress which passed to Christian hands in 1198 and today it's used as a tourist attraction, a place of Christian worship and where the town's pilgrimages are all celebrated. Access to the castle is free throughout the year and there is plenty of parking for both cars and motorhomes. been able to explore. It's fantastic, isn't it? Love it.
I think we only said it last week, folks. You must be bored of reservoirs and castles by now. However, as I said before, if you find a reservoir, you're more likely to find a parker. And if you find a castle, well, everyone likes a castle, don't they? One of the reasons we uh, came here, if not the main reason, was to have a look at this uh, castle, and we've done that. So we're just contemplating now, as much as it's a nice park up, um, I think we're gonna go up the road a little bit. I will put this on what three words, because there's ample of parking here. But um, yeah, we might as well make our way toward the next destination, and then we'll, uh, then we'll find a park up for the night, before it gets too dark. And too cold. <laughs> We'll put this location on what three words? Um, it's a leisure centre car park, but the leisure centre's out of town, it's a small one, so uh, there's loads of parking here, and uh, we'll be off in the morning before anyone comes. So, um, yeah, there you go. So, we've cut back east, northeast across the country. You always get me in the most attractive place. But it's life. It's real life. This is real life. I've and got gym jams. I've got my camping bottoms on. I've got my fluffy hoodie that's big enough for probably everybody to get into. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yes. Here she goes. We're off. We're off. Right, folks. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning. It's one of the great things about this spot is I can see the main road in the background and the sign for the services. And that's where we're heading first thing this morning. And it's bitter. <laughs> it is cold this morning. <laughs> So we left the leisure centre, visited the large services, and then continued to make our way northeast, stopping off at yet another incredibly large reservoir, Embas de Lalacom, where we had a break from filming and relaxed for a few days. Our next destination is Cuenca, and folks, it's a good one. Many thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the road soon.